What's up you guys? In this video, I'm going to share with you the supplements that I take that make me into a beast. I want to ask you a couple questions and see if you kind of fit in the same category I do. Do you want to wake up, feel amazing, being able to hit the gym for multiple hours a day, fast for prolonged periods of time and not be irritable and still have the fortitude to prolong your fast if you want to go that, if you want to do that, or even um, train while you fast and still run a small business or even a large enterprise or even have a full-time job. So one of my very favorite supplements is taking mushrooms. This is a really good well-round blend. It has seven different types of mushrooms. You can see the potency right here. These mushrooms are organic that I take and you know, mushrooms are amazing. What do mushrooms do for me specifically? Well, let's dive in to, let's go over the benefits. Okay, so first of all, reishi uh, stimulates immune function, potentially fighting viruses and bacteria. Yeah, that is true. Stress and anxiety, it may reduce stress and anxiety by calming the nervous system. Energy and fatigue, possible effects of boosting energy and reducing fatigue. Sleep, may improve sleep quality due to stress reducing properties. Cancer, preliminary research suggests potential benefits in inhibiting cancer cell growth and supporting cancer treatment. So that's the antioxidant part of this. So yeah, I vowed for all of this. Mushrooms are awesome. They've helped me with my sleep. Although this blend is a pretty decent dose of these mushrooms, but if you have specific issues and one mushroom would uh, be an ailment to those issues or fix those problems, you might want to get a different supplement, but I choose this because it's easy for me to take. And actually I might even up my dose because I think I might need more ratio because I've been having sleep issues. Nonetheless, my cat isn't neutered and he is a hybrid wild cat. So he is a crossbred between a African serval and an Asian leopard cat and a domestic cat, uh, approximately five generations deep, but his father, I believe his father, or his mother, yeah, his father was 100% wild. And he's very, very loud, okay? So I might need to get some earplugs until I get neutered. I haven't decided to neuter him yet because I gotta get blood tests and stuff like that for him. But he's gonna get neutered pretty soon because it doesn't matter if I take reishi, if I take, um, what, the hypohydramamine, HCI, whatever it is, or any uh, sedative, I'm probably not gonna get to sleep because this guy, see how he's meowing? It's just too crazy. Shut up! But he can go on for hours and various times during the night, he'll do it. It's just crazy. So for me, yeah, I have a little bit of trouble sleeping because of this guy, definitely. Fatigue and energy, fatigue and energy, yeah, it's helped my energy, but this is not like a pre-workout. You know, I wouldn't say it's, it's anything close to a pre-workout, but I can see it does help my stress levels and if you have reduction of stress, thus you will have more better mood to do more things, i.e. fatigue. Fatigue can be mental, mental stress, oxidative stress. So these antioxidants will help combat that. So this is definitely good. Let's go to Himen Matsukake, the immune system similar to Reishi. Himen Matsukake may stimulate immune function and fight infections. Inflammation, some research suggests anti-inflammatory properties, blood sugar potential benefits in regulating blood sugar levels. Antioxidant activity contains antioxidants that may protect cells from damage. All mushrooms do this, by the way. Digestive health may support digestive health and gut bacteria balance. Ooh, good. So we see two things in here. Fighting infections, which is linked to bacteria, and then gut bacteria balance. So this might uh, may kill the bad bacteria and help your good bacteria. So human matsukake, definitely. Has this done this for me? Absolutely, definitely. Um, it has to have helped my blood sugar and I, I'm actually going down the list and there's other mushrooms in here that help blood sugar too. So let me share with you something. I do something uh, really crazy. So I wake up, I don't eat anything. I drink a glass of water and I like take these along with a bunch of other supplements that are right above you in this cabinet right here. And I go to the gym. I go directly to the gym and my workouts are very hard. I do Muay Thai and boxing. Muay Thai and boxing workouts are no joke. You need to be cardiovascular fit. You need to have every aspect of a athlete. You need to have strength. You need to have endurance. You need to have rhythm. 
You need to be cognitive because boxing and Muay Thai is a thinking man's game. And you need to be able to take pain because when you take a bunch to the body shot and we take a punch to the head or a kick to the leg, you need to have a good nervous system. And these mushrooms will definitely help you. And when you're learning new techniques and you're trying to get your rhythm, you have to have good hand, eye, shoulder coordination and actually foot ground coordination, which is another topic. Foot ground coordination is completely different because you're connecting with the ground and you need to be cognizant of where the ground is and your weight and balance. So it's the supreme way of becoming like an ultimate athlete. So mushrooms definitely help me with that. I'm able to fast as long as I, I can like fast until 10 a.m. I could stop eating at 9 p.m. and then not even eat until 10 p.m. the next day and still be able to go to the gym and handle my business. I would pick up one of these. I'm not sponsored by them, but this is a good well-rounder. But if you have specific problems, like I said, sleep, maybe you want to get a higher potency of ratio because you can up your dose in this, but you're just going to up your dose in other mushrooms and you might not want to do that. So I would suggest the best way is to get these mushrooms specifically to your needs. And they're all here, the seven of them. But I like to use this. It's simple. Even though this is expensive, it's not cheap, but it's doable. So there you have it. Lion's Mane. Lion's Mane is awesome. Lion's Mane will turn you into a chatterbox. And keep in mind, when I filmed this video, I did not take any of these supplements. Uh, I will admit today is kind of like a cheat day. I did not fast. I ate a smoothie bowl right before this video, an acai bowl. Okay, Lion's Mane. Hericium erinaceus. Brain health. This is the mushroom for the brain. Although a lot of mushrooms, most mushrooms help your nerves in your brain, but lion's mane is definitely one of the best ones. Brain health, most well known for its potential to improve cognitive function, memory, and focus. So you see how I'm talking right now, I'm not reading the script and I'm not being hesitating and I'm not saying, um, yeah, uh, uh. Well, lion's mane will fix that. Along with another supplement, we will go in further. I just figured this out because I was taking a stack of approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, maybe less than 20 supplements, but I didn't take one of them. And that one supplement put everything together. All right, but we'll go into that later. But it's very similar to the effects of Lion's Mane, which is cognitive function, memory, and focus. Lion's Mane, like I said, will turn you into a chatterbox. In order to talk fast, and intellectually, you need to think fast. If you cannot think fast, you cannot talk fast. But sometimes you think fast, faster than you can talk. And that is a speech to stimuli uh, imbalance with your stimuli and then your tongue. So there's a disconnect there. So you might speak, you might speak slower than you can actually think and vice versa. So I don't have those issues because lion's mane definitely helps me. Nerve growth may stimulate nerve function growth factor, NGF, nerve, gro nerve growth factor. Yeah, totally, definitely. Promoting nerve regeneration and repair. So when I take, when I first started taking these supplements, as you know, there's many mushrooms in this blend. I will tell you what I experienced. I experienced tingling in my brain and my neck and my limbic system and in my muscles, especially in my legs. And for the time I was not really doing Muay Thai a lot, I was mainly focusing on boxing for many years, but I noticed the coordination in my feet and my balance were not as good and still I started taking these mushroom blends. So I can attest that this helps your nerve growth in your cells, in your body. Remember I told you that those nerve endings to your tongue and your brain, connects to your tongue and your brain, and you might speak slower than you can think or think slower than you could speak, vice versa. Well, those nerve endings are important to make it balanced, right? And so your speech won't stutter and vice versa. And it's the same thing if I'm gonna do a technique, if I'm gonna do like skipping or dancing, I may think about the technique, but my legs might move slower than my brain can think. And so that uh, muscle memory is where the disconnect is. These nerve endings that these mushrooms help produce and grow will help that. So this is very, very crucial to your development. So if you're going through a stroke 
or if you're going through an injury and maybe you need to lose, use your left side of your body versus your right, try these mushrooms. That will definitely help. Okay. Another thing is Muay Thai also helped because I was exercising and doing more activity with my feet and then added this helped expedite that production of those nerve cells. So I learned things much quicker with the mushrooms. All right. So there is my testimony there. I can pretty much take this without my other supplements and I think I'd be okay. This is a pretty good well-being one. This I recommend for everyone. Like mushrooms are like God's gift to man. So definitely take your mushrooms. Cholesterol. I don't have any cholesterol problems because, and I eat meat. I eat red meat. I eat chicken. Chicken has a lot of fat. And actually to recent studies, chicken has attributed to more cardiovascular disease than meat. If you see the uh, history trends of people consuming chicken, it's gone up, but also cardiovascular disease has increased in meat consumption. Red meat consumption has gone down. So that'll tell you, chicken is also fattening. You can just cook chicken, you can boil it in water, and you'll see all the fat surface. That's a lot of fat, but it's good fat, I guess. Um, the fat in red meat is also good as well. There's healthy fats, monotransglyceride, polytran uh, polytrans fat, trans fat, and um, mono monosaccharides or uh, monotransglycerides or something you now probably got the, the name messed up monosaturated fat that's what it's called monosaturated fat okay that's the good fat cancer well I haven't had any cancer blood sugar yes that's helped me digestive health may support gut health and reduce digestive issues uh, I can say yeah it's definitely helped fighting infections yes haven't had any infections ever since and um, you know, when you do sparring, you get cuts and nicks and stuff like that. And you can get uh, infections like staph and all that stuff. I haven't had them. Shiitake, the scientific name, Lintinula idotis. I hope I got that right. Immune system, like you're going to find all these mushrooms help your immunity. So if you don't want to get sick, mushrooms is the way to go. However, there's another supplement that I take that helps with this as well. Don't just rely on mushrooms antioxidant activity, cholesterol, antiviral properties. Shiitake, yeah, shiitake mushrooms has antiviral properties. That is so important right there. Some research suggests activity against certain viruses. Okay, so if you're afraid or don't want to get sick or get viruses, take shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms will help you. They have antiviral properties. Fuling. Wolfie pororia cocos, digestive health. So this mushroom was traditionally used to support digestive function and relieve stomach distress. So those of you who have stomach ulcers, stomach ulcers, stuff like that, take fuling. Diuretic properties may help expel excess fluid from the body and reduce edema. Well, I'm known as a big sweater. And ever since I've been taking these, I've been sweating more in my exercise. Sweating is actually good. So that helps. Kidney health. Some research suggests potential benefits for kidney health and function. I had chronic kidney disease a little bit a while ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, and now it's gone. But there's other things that I took for that. And one of them is this. Demenos. That This will be like the ultimate one. For urinary tract infections or uh, any UTI, any STI, um, any bladder infection, or kidney issues, this is where you gotta go. Okay, put that there. Antioxidant, antioxidant activity. Okay, turkey tail. Turkey tail is a very popular one. I met a guy at the gym the other day and he told me a lot about turkey tail. Turkey tail is a lot. He had some congestion in his nose and it's gone because of turkey tail. Immune system, strong immune system potentially supporting recovery from illness or surgery. Cancer, extensive research suggests potential benefits. Extensive research suggests potential benefits in supporting cancer treatment and preventing cancer reoccurrence. Turkey tail is, I told you, it's one of the, a really good one. Gut health, may support gut health and balance gut bacteria. You're noticing a lot of these mushrooms, they are fungi, right? They are fungi, much like a kombucha 
is, or a probiotic. Like, you know, when you ferment tea, it creates a mushroom. That's a mushroom too as well. It's interesting. So this, these mushrooms actually help those other bacteria, fungus, whatever. A good fungus. Antiviral properties, some research suggests activity against certain viruses. Okay, antioxidant activity. So turkey tail is like legit. Okay, guys, I mean, based upon what I told you, this is what you need to get mushrooms. And I'm about to take some right now. We've talked about these supplements before on another video. You might want to check it out. I'm repurposing uh, that video and making a new video, updating it to try to make it better. Hopefully I do that. Let me know in the comment section if I failed or not, or if you have any other suggested supplements or questions about what I've experienced with these supplements that I may have left out. But I'm just gonna quickly go to one, since we were talking about immune activity, okay? Garlic oil. But you need to get Australian garlic oil. Oh my God. Austral I've taken all types of garlic oil, but Australian garlic oil is the garlic oil. Now I'm from San Jose, California, and a little bit south of the way Gilroy is the garlic capital of the world. But I wanna tell you something. Australian garlic is way better than Gilroy garlic. And I'm from that area. I'm from the Bay Area, Northern California. And Australian garlic oil is the most potent. Scientific evidence shows this. Australian garlic oil can offer several potential advantages compared to others. Although the specific benefits depend upon the source and processing methods, here are some key points to consider. Well, this brand is from CoStar. It's good because the price is good for this one, okay? The, the price is good, see, made in Australia, and the quality is amazing. Potential advantages. Unique Australian garlic varieties contain Australian garlic varieties like the Super G variety, possesses high levels of allicin, the compound responsible for garlic's health benefits. Allicin is the number one compound in garlic. These varieties may exhibit stronger immune-boosting antiviral antiviral and antibacterial properties compared to garlic grown elsewhere. I have felt that. You know when you take garlic, you kind of feel it in your blood? Well, this one, you really feel it and you feel strong. You feel warm. This is really good, especially take it in the winter. Stricter quality control. Australian garlic farmers often adhere to stricter quality control regulations compared to other countries, even America. So, got to give it to Australian garlic. Fresher ingredients. Australian garlic oil is often made from fresh, locally grown garlic, resulting in a more potent and flavorable oil compound to those made with stored or imported garlic. Sustainable practices. Many Australian garlic producers prioritize sustainable farming practices, reducing environmental impact and potentially contribute to higher quality. Okay, so you got to give it to Australia, okay? The potential disadvantages are still good. Limited availability, so it's rare. The price processing methods. So I got this for, I think a, a few bucks, 10 bucks, I think maybe less, seven, eight bucks. And man, it has 60 capsules. capsules. So enough for one month, cause I take three capsules and I want to take some of this now. Australian garlic, get it. Like I have not gotten sick. So I would say I have gotten some scuffles, some stuffy noses and I would think that normally where I would get sick, I would just get a scuffle or I would get some congestion or my energy will be a little bit low versus being bedridden or having a fever or just being like no energy zombie status. This would up your game high. So got to give it to you. Australian garlic oil is amazing. Taurine is like the secret. Taurine, you got to take taurine if you want to live long. Taurine. Taurine, while not a true vitamin, is a sulfur-containing amino acid found in many tissues throughout the body. Many tissues throughout the body. So this is in your skin, hair, and nails. Mostly your skin. Okay? Possible anti-aging effects. Increased lifespan. This is all scientifically backed. Increased lifespan. Studies in worms, mice, and monkeys have shown that taurine supplementation can extend lifespan up to 12%. That's huge. Reduced cellular senescence. Taurine may help combat cellular senescence 
a process where cells stop dividing and contributing to aging. There we got it, right here, taurine, man. Reduced inflammation, yes. Improved mitochondrial function and brain health. Taurine is concentrated in the brain and may play a role in cognitive function and protection against neurogenerative, neurodegenerative disease. Neurodegenerative disease. Sorry, I haven't taken my supplements yet. Other potential benefits include improved blood sugar control, lower cholesterol, improved exercise performance. Yes, yes, yes. I train every day and this, well, I didn't train yesterday. I'm going to train right after I make this video, but yes, definitely. Eye health, anxiety, and depression. So if you are experiencing anxiety and depression, you got to get these supplements, right? They will definitely help. What else do we got? Mm. I'm going to wrap it up pretty soon, guys, because i got too many. Okay. Alpha GPC. If you do public speaking, if you do public speaking or write papers, okay, or want a good social life, Alpha GPC, okay, Alpha GPC will help you with public speaking because it will help you speak faster. It will support your brain, okay? See how he just meows and meows? It's really annoying. Okay, Alpha GPC. Improve memory and learning. Enhance focus and concentration. So if you can concentrate and your focus is enhanced, you could think fast and get the words you need from your brain bucket and then speak. Neuroprotection, okay? Athletic performance. Some studies suggest that alpha GPC may improve athletic performance by reducing fatigue and increasing power output because it's all mental. Fatigue is pretty much mental. Like they say, wrestling, my, my wrestling coach said wrestling is 99% mental. Same for boxing, any sport, 99% mental. So your fatigue is basically in your mind. So alpha GPC will fix that. Let's go to some other ones. Oh, this is really good. Tongkat Ali is the king for increasing testosterone naturally. Hands down, the king. There is nothing compared to Tongkat Ali that I know of. Tongkat Ali combined with boron. Boron is a good, it's a very important one. Cordyceps militaris. And maca root. Nobody can fuck with you. I've experienced this for myself. There was a time where I was not taking Tonget, Ali, and Boron, but I recently incorporated into my supplement stack, and oh my God, the results are insane. I've been able to lose more fat. I've been able to train harder. The looks of my muscles are even more figured and better, right? I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder, right? I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I'm just trying to be an athlete and be healthy, and it's improved my mood. Maca root is a really really good one mood is so important mood is so important because if you're fasting or want to fast or just trying to get on a diet you need to have a good mood you need to do everything you can to have a good mood so get some 5-htp okay or you can take some l-tryptophan which is you know uh one of these is the precursor to 5-htp the l-tryptophan converts into 5-htp but you might want to take this because that whole process might reduce the whole sleepiness thing. When I, I actually, I take L-tryptophan when I want to go to sleep. Okay, I take 5-HTP during the day. That's how I do it. So maca root reduces anxiety and depression. So when you're fasting, when you got to be on a strict diet, and then when you're sore from training. You are going to have anxiety because your body feels weak and recovering, and you're going to feel depressed because your energy levels are low and your T levels are down because they're supporting the growth of your muscle and building the, back those cells. So when you see anxiety and depression, don't think about some loser that broke up with his girlfriend and doesn't have a job, whatever, okay? Think about all the recovery stages of your exercise, right? You will have anxiety and depression when you have worked out enough. After every hard training session, after the training session, I'm like, oh fuck, 
my God. That's depression and anxiety right there. I'm, I'm, I have anxiety because I'm weak. If someone were to attack me in that stage, I'd be really vulnerable. I don't have my strength. You know, at the 12th round of boxing, they say you lose your knockout power. Yeah, because that's after the training. That's after the fight. So that's like the time where you lose all your power in your punches. So you will have anxiety and depression when you go through that. Improves emotional well-being. That's important when you're fasting and training. You need to have emotional well-being. This has been the best mood enhancement. It tops 5-HTP. But th th it doesn't mean throw out 5-HTP. No, you want to stack them together. Okay, It's a value add. But this used to be the go-to, but now this is the king. It's even bigger. This guy goes on top of it. These two combined, 5-HTP with the maca root, oh my God, you are good. You are good. Combats fatigue and low energy. Other benefits, sexual health, which is a big one. So maca root is massively marketed as not an aphrodisiac, but a, not a sexual, sexual enhancement perhaps for women, especially, uh, sexual health, athletic performance, hormonal balance for women, okay? So women take this on their period, that's maca root. My ex used to take maca root, the powder. This is powder too, but it's in a capsule form. She used to take uh, maca root to, for her, I don't know, to balance her hormones. And that's what I knew maca root from. I'm, I was like, hmm, what is maca root? Well, she took it for, her period, so it's probably for girls. And I just overlooked it, but no, no, no. Maca root is for men too. I have experienced it. Get some maca root. If you're an athlete or you even work hard or whatever you do, even if you're just starting out in the gym, maca root and 5-HTP. Even if you don't go to the gym, you should go to the gym. Or if you train outside, doesn't matter where you train, the gym or you get exercise anywhere. If you get exercise point blank period, I would suggest maca root and 5-HTP, or even if you don't exercise, still get it because it can help your mood. Maybe you have a bad mood because you're not training. I swear by this. This has been a game changer. Collagen. This is the key. You want to take this before you sleep. I take this within my feeding window because I don't want protein in my blood because protein spikes insulin. And if you're fasting, it could kick you out of ketosis. I don't want that. So I take this with my magnesium my zinc and my calcium at night and that helps me go to sleep this will help wrinkles get rid of all of those things hydroxycut hydroxycut is basically caffeine and mushrooms and that's basically it 100 percent natural it is a thermogenic extreme energy and focus so it's like a pre-workout i don't take pre-workouts um, not because i have anything against them i actually do like pre-workouts but this is definitely much better this uh a pre-workout is more for working out this one you can take it as a coffee substitute if you don't want to take coffee and get the co your coffee stain on your teeth then take a caffeine pill but this is better this has other things in it like cayenne pepper jujube uh alpha gpc zynamite Choline, choline, like acetylcholine, like alpha GPC. So this is like the, your, be, your, your best study enhancement. Uh, it's not a drug. I, I don't think so. It's natural. It's not, on, it's not a schedule two substance. It's not a schedule one. It's just a, it's over the counter. You can buy it. So guys, I'd highly recommend that. I'll leave links below and I'll see you on the next one.